Now, this might be one what? of the things that you want to anticipate because yes. you have a son um, with the age of five, I'm mistaken. Um, almost four. Almost four. Yes. In no time, he will be 15 or 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's still a long time. <laughs> uh, so he will be in adolescence, but adolescence is a unique and formative time. Uh, so physical, emotional and social changes, including exposure to poverty, abuse or violence can make adolescent vulnerable to mental health problems. True. Now, protecting um, adolescents uh, from adversity, uh, promoting socio-emotional learning and also psychological well-being, and ensuring um, access to uh, mental health care are critical for their health and also well-being yeah. during adolescence and also adulthood. Now, here in Indonesia, we have the self-love warrior. So this is actually the first time I hear about this. A youth-led organization that empowers young people to love themselves and learn about mental health. Now, to know more about this matter, today we are connected to the Self Love Warrior founder, Michelle Teh. Good morning from good Indonesia morning. and good afternoon there in Vancouver, Michelle. Good morning. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. Hi. <laughs> We're doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, um, Michelle. And looking so green there. Um, so radiant. Yes, yeah, so radiant. <laughs> well. So, uh, but Michelle, um, as I said before, this is the first time I heard about Self Love Warrior, but can you tell us a little bit more about this particular movement or organization? Yeah, definitely. So the plans, you know, reflect what we're doing. We're basically a youth-led organization that was started way back in 2018. And our main goal is just to raise awareness about mental health and self-love, specifically to young adults. So teenagers, people who are in high school, maybe like early years of university. And yeah, that's what we do. We mostly post content. Um, create programs for them and really try to talk about mental health in a way that's relatable mm -hmm. and they can feel like they get it, you know, like you're talking to someone who feels and understands your pain instead mm -hmm. of like a very professional um, person who you might not be more vulnerable mm -hmm. with. So yeah, that's a little bit about us. That's nice. Now, um, Michelle, why, why do you think, um, you know, self-love and self-care is important? What's the urgency Yes, to it? okay. The urgency was actually when I started this when I was in high school and mm -hmm. I felt like the urgency was back then there was not really a lot of focus on mental health and self-love and in fact around 50% of your mental health problems starts by the age of 14 and 14. so when I was starting this I felt yeah 14 14 years old and so when I was starting this uh, when I was 16 I felt like so frustrated because mm. I really wanted to learn more about mental health and like self-love. But in Indonesia, I couldn't really find something that resonated with me. And mm -hmm. that's sort of how I started it. I was like just really frustrated, honestly. <laughs> okay, so this is very interesting because um, you just uttered the fact that mental health condition or mental health issue could actually start it from uh, as early or as, as young as 14 years old. But uh, also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I might have some number here. According to UNICEF, uh, it is estimated that one in seven or 14% of 10 to 19 years old experience mental health conditions. Now, what are the most common um, mental health problems, you might say, occurred in this um, period of age? Yeah, I think the biggest one that I saw around me was insecurity. Like, you're always comparing yourself to someone else. Yeah. And you're trying to fit in. And that's why the, our name is like Self Love Warrior, right? Because I personally think that a lot of the mental health problems that you have, like later in life, mm. like you date a toxic person, you take a job that you don't like. Oh, sounds like it's familiar. Really if you don't, yeah. <laughs> Dating a toxic yeah, person. I mean, like, that happened in, <laughs> oh, no, what are you in my junior high time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Exactly! Like, I was seeing uh, so many common issues that uh, my friends were going through, like people on yeah. the internet was going through, and I was like, if you just had more self-love, and yeah. if you knew yourself better, like, you could avoid all of this. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, I also want to know, Michelle, uh, because we talk about self-love and self-care all the time, but what is exactly the thing that, the first thing that you can do in order to take better care of yourself. Maybe you can give me some example that mm. you do on your daily routine to really 
apply this um, self love and self care to your to your life? Yeah, I think this is super interesting because culturally, back home in Indonesia, I think that you're conditioned to always want to be around other people mm -hmm. and. When I go on Self Love Warrior, my first tip is always to learn how to be alone. How to be alone. Without feeling lonely. Without feeling lonely. So, to give like concrete examples, I think back home I was super awkward. Like, makan sendiri, it, it felt so weird. Like, that are staring at you. Yeah. But in Vancouver, I think that's the biggest change that I've seen. Like, if I oh, go to the nice. beach alone, there are so many other people doing it alone. If yeah. you can try a new cafe on your own. Like really trying to be comfortable in your own skin oh my God. without ever feeling lonely. I think that's a really first first step. First totally step. agree. <laughs> totally, totally agree, agree it Michelle. It's very good for you to, to, be, to be able to learn it in a very early age because yeah. I, I felt that in my 30s already. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe I learned it a, bit, uh, a little bit too late. But um, Late bloomer. <laughs> late bloomer. <laughs> and also, you were also saying about uh, the most common um, issue in teenagers or in that period of ages, insecurities. But um, what is actually the main cause of the teens or young adults to experience uh, this kind of uh, problem? In, mainly insecurities. Is it because of, um, you know, being hyper-connected or mm. always online? Mm. Or is it because of the yeah. competitive environment? Because in this age of social media, people tend to see, um, uh, pe you know, things that they follow on yeah. social media or people that they follow on the social media with a certain persona. Is that also uh, the main cause of it, um, in your opinion? Yeah, so we actually ran a program called Self Love Goes to School and mm. we actually talked a lot about this with like students. Why do you feel so insecure? And I think what you highlighted is really accurate. Number mm. one, it's super competitive right now to be a young person. It seems like everyone's always doing a competition, <laughs> always interning. Um, and when we ran this program, I think mm. what I found was People really need a good environment that makes them feel vulnerable enough to yeah. deal with their insecurities. Uh, safe and place. I feel like yeah. this hyper, yeah, like a safe space. Um, so that was what we were trying to provide like to our programs. So we wanted to make it a safe space because oftentimes people would say like, oh, I'm so insecure, but my friends aren't helping. Like they're making yeah. me more insecure because they're also so competitive. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, I think that's real. Like. A short story but when I moved abroad I realized that even like what people post online is different yeah. for yeah, example when I went back to Indo during COVID I was so stressed because I felt <laughs> like if someone's always doing something like there's like an online <laughs> shop they're starting a bakery yeah and when I moved back it's like during COVID here everyone's just like chilling no one posts like when they're lomba when they're interning they just yeah. like live their lives and uh -huh. so I was I find that that environment is super yeah. impactful to these young people and that's why we want to make those safe spaces yeah. for them. Again, again, reality check. Everything you see online is fragmented. It's, it's, it's exactly. fabricated. So, um, what you see online is not real. <laughs> it's not real. It's an illusion, people. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, we also want to know, Michelle, um, uh, to do this program that you were doing, um, do you also collaborate with other communities or organizations? If um, you're doing so, what kind of projects or initiatives you have done so far? Yeah. So, we are a team of 40 young adults based in Indonesia. And we always collaborate with mostly online pages and communities as well. So one of our biggest collaborations last year was we collaborated with around seven schools to talk about self-love at their mm. schools and like interact with the students. Nice. And we reached around 1,000 students through that program, wow. specifically targeting schools that aren't like super aware about self-love you know yeah. like if you're in an international school maybe it's common yeah, but like yeah, let's yeah. say you're in a desa you don't even know what mental health is so that was sort of our biggest collaborations last year and we also like to make campaigns and challenges to encourage young people to do more self-love mm. i think we have like a series called um grow as glow as we grow glow we as we grow nice. people to try yeah glow as we grow okay to challenge people to do things that make them uncomfortable but embrace themselves more nice i'm glowing now 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, because I'm growing. Oh, yay! Yeah, I'm glowing because I'm growing. But um, aside of self love goes to school, like you um, said before. Hey, if I'm mistaken, you also have some um, self love boot camp. Is that true? Mm. So, uh, can you tell yeah. us more about so, about the self love boot camp? Definitely. So, our boot camp was basically we wanted to like you know. I mentioned that a lot of people faced insecurity, but they didn't have that environment. And mm -hmm. so especially during COVID, there was so much FOMO between people. And so we basically made a program for around six weeks for the last two years where we get around 50 participants. And then every week there's like a reflection session. They nice. meet other people who are trying to grow. And hopefully we like accelerate that growth because we believe that the people you surround yourself with mm -hmm. is what helps you change. And so for that six weeks period, we try to teach them things, try to do like hands-on activities about self-love and mental health, and really just try to accelerate their growth to embrace themselves. Oh my gosh. That's admirable what you're doing, uh, Michelle. Now, um, also, I, I really want to know because um, many, many of us, um, we have our ups and downs um, in life. So if you have a friend that is um, maybe feeling down right now, what is um, the mantra that you will, you know, you, you can give to them um, today in order for them to feel a little bit better about themselves? Do you have any sort of message that you uh, try to convey to your friends every time they feel down? Yeah, I think the biggest step everyone can take is before you try to help, I think it's important to ask what do they need. So at Self Love Warrior, we always ask like, what do you need right now when someone chorhats to us? Do you need me to give you advice? Do you need a shoulder to cry on? Or do you just want to talk and I'll just like nod, you know? Because on some days, I feel like people need different things. Like sometimes they need you to provide them solutions, but other times they just need you to feel like you're a friend to them, that they can Aww. lean on you and you're not judging them. So I feel like if you have a friend right now who's down, that's the first step that you can take. And then based on what they say, you can, you know, calibrate your actions. <laughs> okay. I agree. Celebrate Thank small you. wins. Celebrate small wins. Michelle, thank you so thank much for you, sharing Michelle. with us uh, this morning. And also, we hope um, nothing but uh, progress and also the best for Self of Warrior. And also, please do take care of yourself there in Vancouver. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much, bye guys. Bye. Have a great day. You bye. too, you too. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Wow, all right. That's quite um, calming in the sense that yeah. um, you could actually have your insecurities. You have, Always. you can um, actually have your flaws and mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. and still be human. Still be human and still, you know, um, have this optimism to, you know, just um, go through, pull through. Mm -hmm. Just accept the negative emotions, accept the, the negative thoughts, but in... Uh, at the end of the day, you just have to come back to yourself and feel better about yourself and know that you're not alone. You're exactly. Not alone you're not this. alone. You are not so alone. do not ever feel like you're <laughs> alone. Probably if you're feeling so, uh, grab someone, um, you know, closest to you yeah. and stuff like that and try to, you know, to cry and stuff yeah. like that. Like what Michelle said, that um, you just need a safe space. Yes, safe space and you know, um, one thing that I really, really love about this self-care routine mm. that I'm doing, um, one of those that is very effective for me is actually journaling. Because journaling? Journaling because you can really, you know, you put your feelings um, to these notes, mm. to your diary and then you read it again yeah, and yeah. you sort of feeling, you know, um, you kind of put, put your feelings into words and it sort of like letting go, like letting flowing, go of your feelings. Flowing, yeah. putting your feelings onto the stream of water. Yeah. Like that, yeah, and then you let it go and then you just accept it. And remember, um, <laughs> if you cannot love yourself, how would you love somebody else? True. Because, you know, in the case of the, um, of the flight, if the um, uh, pressure started to hmm? change, you better save yourself save to yourself. save the others. Sure.